Manufacturing field dates back to the 1700s. At this time, manufacturing was extremely dangerous. From the Industrial Revolution to the first car manufactured in 1908. From industrial robots to iPhones, manufacturing has changed tremendously. So what does manufacturing look like in 2020? At all of the steel, Newcastle, Pennsylvania, it looks like this. I'm Darren Schwartz, I'm manager of melting operations. So whenever scrap comes into the mill, we'll take that scrap, we'll load it into the electric arc furnace. There, electricity and natural gas and oxygen will be used to melt the scrap. Once the scrap's melted down, we'll then transfer it to other stations where we can add other alloy additions, remove sulfur and hydrogen, and then send it to our bottom pour area. There, the steel will be poured into ingots into molds to make ingots and then shipped out to our final customers. So you may be wondering what Elm Quality Steel does with their newly manufactured steel. My name is Sean Fitzgerald. Uh, my title is Lead Melt Supervisor. Uh, the products are anywhere from mining use, uh, nuclear, gun barrel, defense, landing gear. Uh, it's all high quality applications, it's not rebar and simple things that go in cement. So what's so cool about manufacturing? My name is Dawn Chafee, I'm the Director of Human Resources at Elwood Quality Steels Company. Manufacturing uh, obviously has been around for years and it's, it's exciting. You get to produce something, you get to use your hands, you get to use your brain, uh, and you produce something that, uh, that is used uh, throughout the world. You know, our products especially, steel, goes in a number of, of things um, that are very important. Landing gear, uh, as an example. The Laurel School District would like to thank Elwood Quality Steel for their time in this awesome opportunity. This, this is, is what's so cool about